Hey, welcome back to my Pokemon Fire Red LP. I left off in between these two beauties in a three-way, <laughs> which is pretty funny. <laughs> I raised my Pokemon for protection because I live alone. Here's Beauty Olivia would like to battle me with her Bulbasaur. So I'm going to send out Fox to um, use Ember. It's super effective damage. It takes it out in one hit. Now here comes an Ivysaur. I'm just going to stay in and Ember it for a 2 hit KO as it only goes for its sweet scent. Now the Ivysaur is taken down. Here's Beauty Olivia is beaten. Pokemon isn't about winning or losing for me. Okay, so next brush. Uh, I just got some Pokemon in trades. Can I try them out on you? Oh, it's another Picnicker who loves traded Pokemon. Picnicker Kendra and her Gloom would like to battle me. So it goes for the acid and it does 11 hit point damage. I take it down with another Ember. Desert Fox grows to level 34. And it's trying to learn Flamethrower. This is perfect timing. I was just running out of Embers. So I'm just gonna get rid of Ember. Because it's so weak. And awesome. Fox learned Flamethrower. Now I get to Flamethrower on this Oddish. So use Flamethrower, Fox. That Oddish is, um, is burnt to a crisp there. And here is her final Oddish. So burn it down, Fox. The Oddish is destroyed. That's right, you're not good enough. So I, I see a Bird Keeper on the way. So I'm going to switch to Tup. My birds are shivering, you're good, aren't you? They sense the presence of my greatness. Now here is a Doldrio, the evolved form of Doduo. I'm gonna go for a Spark now, and that takes down the Doldrio in one hit. Tup grows to level 33, which is nice. Here comes a Doduo. And Doduo is gonna get Sparked in one hit, just like Doldrio. Here comes another Doduo. So I'm gonna spark as well. And I defeat Birdkeeper Chester. Just as he thought. So here's another Birdkeeper. When I whistle, I can summon Bird Pokemon. Here's a Birdkeeper Edwin. He has a Pidgeotto, and I go out the top once again. Super effective spark. Goodbye, Pidgeotto. Comes a far fetched. So now I will um, destroy it with a spark. So Tup is just going to sweep this entire team of birds. And that's a dead doe duo, and Tup grows to level 34. And he's trying to learn rollout. So I needed a move besides uh, Taco and Sh Spark and Shockwave. So I'm just gonna get rid of Charge because I never use it. The only time I used it was um, when I was in Rock Tunnel a few times when it was a Voltorb. So here comes a Pidgey now. I'm gonna switch to Mary. And I'm just gonna go for the rock slide. Down goes Pidgey. And to defeat Birdkeeper Edwin. Oh, that's tragic. Now there's another Picnicker up ahead. And I'm gonna see if uh, SMP can handle her. And does SMP need an either, I think, for um, the Giga Drain that it's all out? So I restore Giga Drain. Here's the Picnicker, wanna play with my Pokemon? Why not? P 
Picnicker Yasmin has a bell sprout. Now I'm gonna go for an acid. And that lowers the defense. And it goes for sleep powder. Now's the perfect time to bust out the Poke Flute to wake up my SMP. This is a catchy tune. It goes for an acid. And it unfortunately gets a crit, which makes me sad. So I'm just gonna revenge it with Fox and go flamethrower. Down goes the bell sprout. And here comes an Oddish. Burn Oddish. So that Oddish is also barbecued. And here comes a Tangela. And Fox, this is no sweat for him. So I just burned up that pile of spaghetti there. And they're defeated Picnicker Yasmin. I was too impatient. So that's finally all the trainers, so I desperately need to go back to the Pokemon Center. Well, actually, I'm gonna check out upstairs world really quick. Oops. Need to stay upstairs. Got an aid. I remember me, I'm one of Professor Oak's aides. If you caught at least 50 species, experience share. I don't think I've caught 50. I've caught 35. So anyways, I'll just come back here later if I want the experience share. Anyways, I finally made it to Fuchsia City. Um, hold on, I have to um, take care of something really quick. Alright, I'm back. Um, sorry for the delay. I was um, taking a phone call. My mom was ringing my phone off the hook. So I thought it was some kind of emergency, but actually it wasn't. So... I probably should have just called her back later, but oh well. I just took uh, took care of it right away anyways. So I healed my Pokemon. And it's time to explore Fuchsia. I'm going to talk to a few of these people in here. There's a narrow tra trail west of Viridian City. It goes to the Pokemon League HQ. The HQ governs all trainers. You can't become a good trainer with just one strong Pokemon, but raising many Pokemon ev evenly is no easy task either. If you're working on a Pokedex, visit the Safari Zone. All sorts of rare Pokemon breed there. Let's see what I can find in here. Oh yes, I'm the move deleter. Would you like me to... yes. Um, I doubt I... I don't need Flash anymore, I, I believe, so I'm gonna get rid of it. Even if I do need it later, I can always reteach it. So, be gone, Flash. And I'm gonna keep on exploring. So what can I find in here? Bill files his own Pokemon data on his PC, did he show you? He certainly did. Safari Zone's Warden is old, but he's still very much active. All his teeth are false, though. I see, he has dentures. Hmm, you've met Bill? He's my grandson. He always liked collecting things, even as a child. Oh, hello, Bill's um, grandpa grandfather. It's a pleasure to meet you. So, I'm gonna hop over the ledge and see what's in this house. Hif, fuf, hefifu. I don't understand what I don't understand the words that are coming out of his mouth. That must be the warden. And I need strength, obviously, to move that boulder aside to get that item. So here's another fisherman. I'm the fishing guru's older brother. I love to fish. And I got the good rod, which is pretty good. And I guess there's a pond here, which he would like me to fish in, but I'm not in the fishing mood right now. And what does he have to say? So Safari Zone has a zoo in front of the entrance. Out back, it's a safari game for catching Pokemon. Interesting. 
So what do we have here? Warden Slowpoke is running a promotion campaign right now. Try to get to the farthest corner of the Safari Zone. If you can make it, you'll win a very convenient prize. I love prizes. Uh, I can't. I can't wait to see what that prize is. We nicknamed the Warden Slowpoke. You know he has that vacant look like a slowpoke. Warden Slowpoke is very knowledgeable about Pokemon. He even has some fossils of very extinct Pokemon. Warden Slowpoke came in, but I couldn't understand him. I think he's got a speech problem. I know, I just spoke to him, and I couldn't understand a word he was saying. He wasn't making any sense at all. Oops, I meant to run over here. Where's Sarah? I said I'd meet her here. Eric. Hmm. Here's a Slowpoke. Friendly and very slow moving. Named after the Warden. And uh, just take a, take a look around the zoo here. Here's Chansey. Catching one is all at the chance. That item ball in there. Were you wanting that? Me too. Huh? That's a Pokemon? Indeed it is. That's a Voltorb. And Tup used to look like that. Now, oh, here's a Lapras. A.K.A. the King of the Seas. What does he have to say? Did you try the Safari game? There are some rare Pokemon that can only be caught there. I will definitely try that out soon. Kabuto, an extremely rare Pokemon that was regenerated from a fossil. That nerd guy in Mount Moon must have brought it here. Oh, I wish I was a Kangaskhan baby. I'd love to be a substitute for the baby and snuggle in the mother Kangaskhan's belly pouch. But only Pokemon can use this technique substitute. Want me to teach Substitute? Oh, it's a Substitute Move Tutor. So let's see who I can teach it to. I'll give Zion a shot. Boy, what I'd give to crawl inside a Kangaskhan's belly pouch. So now then... I'm going to leave things off in front of the Safari Zone building so that I can play the Safari game. So thank you all for watching once again my Pokemon Fire Red LP. Comment, like, sub, and I'll see you in the next episode where I'll be starting my very fun Safari game.